Good morning <laughs> on a lazy e homestead. We are getting things situated. We've been doing our chores, chickens. But I uh, just want to give you guys kind of a video, a little bit on how we get our water here. And because we don't have a well, uh, it's quite a bit, quite a bit of money to have a well dug, and things ain't working out right now. So we're we're actually hauling water in right now until we get everything uh, fixed up for rainwater harvesting, which uh, we're, we're trying to go with the whole off-grid as much as we can. It's like the more off-grid, I, I, you know, we do, it's like it gets kind of exciting. It's like, okay, well, we did that off-grid. Maybe I can do this off-grid as well. It's like the more we do it, the more I, I, I like saving money and not having to spend money. And if I can do as much as we can, to not have to spend money and you know having some nice uh conveniences that, that's even a plus but i just kind of want to uh show you guys what we do here to uh for our how we get our water and stuff here all right so here is for the big tank ladder's kind of in the way but so our big tank 2500 gallons got this here set up i've got it fixed where There is going to be a second tank that will sit right up here in front of this tank. But just simple design. From there, inch and a half pipe to cut off to a T to the water valve comes out. So I can cut the water off there. When I get the second tank, I can cut it off there or have it opened or it will equalize between both tanks. Give me double the capacity. So we have a 275 gallon uh, IBC tank, brand new. So it's never been used as far as uh, anything. So we just pump our water into there and then we take and put it in this back of this thing's huge. 2,500 gallon tank and I'll kind of explain a little bit on the, the valve on another clip here but basically I take and hook it up here turn it on run it from there into the pump pump up into the top of it there and just fills it up we've got We got over 1200 gallons in it and uh but yeah i just wanted to show you guys kind of how this works so let me plug this up and and show you plug it up or get the water on I can hear it. I don't know if you can, but let's see if I can pull this out a little bit without keeping the hose too much. It's, it's pumping it in there pretty quick. So it takes it takes about 30 minutes to fill it up, 35 minutes. And then it takes about about 40 minutes to pump it out. I could have got a, a higher volume pump to pump it out further or faster, but but I figured to use lower wattage beams that you know we, we are not tied into the grid. So I, I did a lower wattage pump. Kind of get out of this wind here a little bit. Get out of the wind to get in the wind more. But uh, anyway, so I took and I opted for a lower wattage pump instead of a higher wattage because we're trying to conserve as much juice as we have. I know I probably could have uh, done a, a little bit higher volume pump that was higher wattage and pumped it out a little bit faster. Um, but I chose what I did. So 
uh, right or wrong. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how we get our water here to the house uh, for the homestead. But for right now, we don't have an, a pump hooked up yet. So everything that we do is all uh, gravity feed from the, the, the white fittings you've seen down there coming off of the, the bottom of the tank. It's literally just uh, gravity fed. So uh, if we're having to do something kind of higher up, eh, there's hardly no water, if, if any water at all, if it's just very slowly moving. But uh, so if we got to run the hose down a little bit lower to get any pressure, not really any pressure, just any water out of it. But other than that, that's, that's pretty much it. So I just wanted to show you guys that. This is how we uh, homestead it. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Bye.